quick video. Here's a hydrogen cell that my son built. I've got it installed on my Bronco. It's a cute little thing. I think you can see it or not. There you go. And uh, it was just for a science experiment, but he needed some data. So I went ahead and I switched out my 11 plate 6x6 dry cell with this one. And this one is, I think, a 9 plate, 9 or 11 plate. I can't remember what we built. But it's kind of cute. It's basically uh, 5 inches by 5 inches. As you can see, it's doing pretty good. Yeah. I uh, offset the holes because I wanted the efficiency really high for when he's doing a demo at the school because we were using a uh, power supply that we used an ATX computer power supply and modded it to run on this. And then we ran it at 6 amps. So it actually had pretty good output at 6 amps. But a higher applica application, like I'm doing it you know, on a Bronco or something like this, you need to run it at 20 amps. You've got to have a, a lot more exit at the top. And so that's why it's pumping and doing weird things like it's doing right now. It's basically, this is maximum for this would be about 10 amps. So it's running between 8 and 11 amps right now. It just bounces around. All right. This was built by a 13-year-old. This hydrogen cell. Why am I throwing on YouTube? Why not? Uh, the only thing I did was I uh, drilled out the polycarbonate plates for him because I was afraid that he would get hurt doing that. Um, and I used a belt sander on the plates. Other than that, he did everything. He cut out the gaskets. He drilled the holes in the stainless plates. He did everything. So he did a good job on it. Advanced hydrogen. Teach your kid to build these things. 